Today we believe that we can start a spiritual revolution that will shift the history of the world. It's not just hype. Jesus loosed a prayer revolution 2,000 years ago and he wants to leash, unleash it all over the world today. When Jesus came out of the villages speaking to the lost, they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. He was broken to pieces, the Bible said, broken to pieces with compassion. He came out of that vision and he gathers the disciples. I believe during that time he may have seen the millions of Buddhists, the millions of Muslims, the millions of Hindus, the millions in the inner cities that had not known Christ. I wondered if he was so moved and overwhelmed by the limitations of his own incarnation, thinking, God, I need millions like me who will heal the sick, preach the gospel, cast out demons. And he gathered to his disciples and he said to them, the harvest truly is plentiful. The laborers are few, therefore just pray once in a while that the Lord will send some laborers out of there. That's how we prayed this prayer. But I want to tell you, Jesus unleashed a bomb when he gave his disciples that word. And that word was this. He did not say pray the Lord of the harvest. The Greek word is deomai. It is an aorist imperative tense. It is more like this. I command you to beg me. I command you to beg me. Hurl forth labors into the... Folks, the church has never taken seriously the command of the Lord of the harvest to beg him, continuously beg him to hurl forth labors into the harvest field. And he didn't use the word send in Matthew 9, 38. The word he used was the word ekbalo. It is the Greek word where Jesus said, if I by the finger of God cast out demons, drive out demons, Jesus doesn't send out demons. He hurls them out. He drives them out. There's a generation of young people filled with addictions, internet addictions, bored to death. They need something more than ascending. They need an following by the power of God. We are going to unleash this prayer over the internet, over television worldwide, to lose a worldwide prayer movement where the missions movement ignites with the prayer movement. Pray, beg, and go. Folks, can we change history today by obeying the command of Jesus Christ? Quickly, I began to pray this day after day, night after night, and my daughter came to me. The Lord showed me the prayer works, beginning with my own family. My daughter came to me, and she said, Dad, I had a dream. I was in a huge auditorium, sitting in the front row, she said, in the dream, Lauren Cunningham of YWAM was on stage preaching on the mantle of Moses coming on Joshua. And she said he was looking straight at me. And in the dream, suddenly he fell to the ground and died. I'm not prophesying Lauren Cunningham's died. He fell to the ground and died. My daughter leaped up on the stage, began to give him CPR crying you can't die yet your task isn't finished you can't die yet your task isn't finished she said dad he rose from the dead grabbed me by the shoulders and said it's not my task to finish it's yours the spirit of god came upon her and she went into the himalayas to preach the box god had followed my daughter because her dad was praying. What if millions around the world begin to pray day after day? Come on, right now, lift your hands because we're going to begin to beg God. Would you begin to beg God? Take ball, oh laborers. Come, Lord. Lift your voices. Let this be a rumble. Let the whole earth begin to pray. The number of missionaries on the field is entirely dependent on someone praying this prayer. Lord of the harvest today, and Bolo labors into the harvest. You know, if you're Hispanic in this room,
would you raise your hand? We're just going to agree for activation over the Latino body. Señor, rogamos ahora mismo. Arrebata, arrebata tus obreros. Envíalos a la cosecha en cada ciudad, en cada nación, en cada pueblo, en Latinoamérica. Envíalos en el nombre de Jesús. Father, today is a day that we have seen in the spirit and we know that if we are in agreement with heaven now on earth and so we pray for the release of a move of God and revival in North America, in South America, in Asia, in Australia, in Africa, in the Middle East. We pray let the move of God, the fire of God, the power of God be poured out upon this generation and let your spirit come in our generation. We cry out, oh God, send us Right now, all across this place, get into small circles, and I want you to begin to pray. Ekbalo laborers. I'm going to ask my brother to pray. Ekbalo laborers into the inner cities of the earth, the African-American communities. Just begin to pray for your own friends as we pray from the stage. Today, we are loosing a bomb into the earth. It's the prayer revolution of Jesus. For the great problem, there's not enough laborers. Beg him. And so, Father, we lift up our voice and we cry out, raise up laborers now. Raise up intercessors. Raise up missionaries. Raise up prophets. Raise up evangelists. Raise up pastors. Raise up teachers. Give Lord the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom. We pray for the healing movement to begin in the earth. We pray, oh God, that healing would happen at the mall. That healing would happen in our job. That healing would happen on the street. Oh God, we ask you now that you release the power power of God and among us let it happen in us let it be stirred in us oh God we pray in the name of Jesus raise up this group raise up this generation raise us up with power raise us up with glory raise us up with demonstration raise us up with the word of the Lord raise us up with passion this moment keep praying we are shifting history a turning point into a new massive Jesus the evangelist movement. 